Hey, good morning. This is another Black City Coffee vlog. In this vlog, uh, I wanted to talk about my shipping station. So I've been getting a lot of questions on uh, Insta. Oh my. Okay. In this video, I want to talk about my shipping station. I've been getting a lot of questions about this little guy right here. Um, so come on, I'll just take you along and take you through my shipping station. So before, you know, being a home roaster, I would just do everything on my kitchen tabletop, which was a mess. Nobody likes that. So what I did was I built out, um, we found this piece of furniture like on the street. Um, I refinished it, I stained it, and now it houses uh, green coffee at the bottom. Um, the middle one houses a bunch of like random things like stickers or uh, bags, forms, random things. And then the top shelf is all of, uh, all of our bags. So we have one pound bags, eight ounces, four ounces, and two ounces. Um, so we can choose to uh, fill any of those type of orders. The most, I think, uh, game changer piece of this whole shipping station was this guy right here. And this is the Rolo printer. So this solved so many issues for me being a home roaster, starting off really small. Um, I basically use this for labeling all of my bags. Let me show you. Here is a sample. So um, it took a while for me to get to this point. Um, I was doing stickers and stickers were not very cost effective. They would run out um, and have to write in things a lot of the time. So it was great for how I do it was, oops, how I do it is uh, I design something in Photoshop or something and I design this label. Uh, since it, it already comes on these little sticky labels, it's so easy to just put this on. And I'm not doing that much in terms of volume, so it's, it's easy for me to do, you know? And um, throughout the whole process, it was just learning of ways of how to systemize things. Number one thing that people often forget is how to systemize things in any business. We have uh, this label here. I leave the uh, roasted for you on date blank so I can just fill it in by hand. Um, and then now I even have this where it's a, it's a little story. that I th it's, it's something that I kind of like mentally go through and think about every time I have a cup of coffee at home and I wanted to share that message with you. So. Um, those are our one pound bags and they fit really nicely. Uh, the dimensions of this paper I think is like five by four. I don't know, I'll put them in the description. So it's a Rolo printer. I will link it in the description. Um, this link does support me. It is an Amazon link or an Amazon uh, affiliated link. So if you like the videos. Um, and then I have it connected to via USB. Um, <clears throat> to this uh, Microsoft PC Surface something or other. I don't know, it j we had it lying around because of our photo booth business. So um, when we upgraded our photo booth business, I got the PC. So I use this to make really quick changes to any labels that I need, like, okay, cool. Um, all of a sudden I have a new coffee and I can just quickly change whatever the, the language is on here or the typeface and then print it out. That's so much easier. I used to have to run to the uh, our HOA preserve house and print over there. And then not only is I have to drive there, but I have to log in, it would kick me out, the printer wouldn't work. And there was all these little tiny barriers that were adding up to me being efficient and systemizing this whole process. And when you have another business on top of what you're doing, if you're a home roaster like me, that's not what you wanna do. You don't wanna waste time with things that are not, you know, that you don't want to waste time on. We have a uh, tape, of course. Um, this feeds into here all the time. It's always plugged in. That was another thing too. Uh, when you start to do things on, the, on a repetitive nature, you want to just have things set for you. It's like a set. It's like making films or making videos. If you have a set, you can just walk into the set and do your thing, be efficient, make content, make coffee, pack coffee, whatever you need to do. So. I knew this going in, but it was always like that, kind of like like much of much of you viewers are like, when do I upgrade? When do I make that move? When do I do that? And uh, that's all natural. That just comes with time, and it's part of the journey. It's part of the process, having that conflict. Otherwise, we have this really common thing that I've seen everywhere, which is a uh, heat sealer, um, which is really awesome. It's just, it heat seals the bags. So all of the bags are gusseted. I learned this word. Basically allows the coffee to off gas and smell fantastic. Um, and then I do a little heat seal here for our customers. 
Um, so we have that. And what's cool about this label is that it fits on our four ounce bag. So this is basically um, our sampler bag. We're gonna be launching a sampler gift set pretty soon um, with a nice sampler kit box and everything. So it's nice that they fit together like that. Um, and this can also be heat sealed as well and gusseted, of course. Um, and I try to pack coffee as soon as possible. I don't let it sit in these collection bins for too long just because air can come into it and basically make the coffee stale. So I wanna do this, I never wanna leave coffee in here for longer than I need to. Uh, but it's just me doing all this stuff, so you know, I just do the best I can. Another thing, this guy right here, and I've been thinking about, well, I do have a cutter, and I could simply print two labels on one, right? Like this, one label, two label, or something like that. Cut it with a nice cutter, and then utilize it here and be more efficient that way. Because so far, these things are stickers, but I just love how it looks. You know, I'm really digging this um, tropical, uh, juicy, delicious looking leaf in the background. So I, I just really like that. But, you know, uh, what's really cool about doing your own coffee and running your own coffee thing is that you can just <laughs> make changes on the fly. And because I'm so small, I can just do whatever pleases me. So it really kind of hits home for like the creator in me. Uh, okay, so that is that. Other things with the shipping station, I needed some place to store all of the coffee and all of the crap that just <laughs> comes with packing things. There's this, 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 this. So I went and found just a regular board that, uh, that I could nail to the wall basically as a shelf, as a nice long working shelf. I basically would be doing this in my garage if I had more room, but we have a very small limited space here. So I'm just trying to be as efficient and space saving as possible. So I like to have this little plank here. I just stained it, matches this. And this is basically my very simple but effective shipping station. I love it because <laughs> uh, everything is off my dining table. That's number one I wanted like, more and more things were encroaching on things. And that's just what happens when you have a, a, a passion or a hobby. It starts to take over your life. Super simple, tucked away in the corner. Try to keep it as neat as possible. And that's it, I have a scale here. And this very, <laughs> this very uh, important tool, which does have all of the like tasting notes and defects on it when I do like my cuppings and stuff. Um, but this, is so handy as a funnel. <laughs> That's what I use it for, a funnel to bag my coffee. So um, I don't have one of those really expensive like $45, you wait on that you wait on this sort of thing and then it has like a scoop that goes into a bag. It's like $45 right here. A laminated piece of paper printed out somewhere and straight up colored like a uh, five-year-old. <laughs> All right, so that's the video today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, my shipping station tour, and uh, any questions in the comments. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.